welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I am hiding in my office, so hopefully I have at least a few minutes before the kids find me. I need to talk about these fabric clutches. I made them with my own two hands. I can't wait to show you how. Stay tuned. impress upon you how rudimentary my sewing abilities are. I can sew a straight-ish line on my sewing machine and that's about it. So I can hem clothes, I can make curtain panels, and now, you guys, I can totally make these fabric clutches and you can too. These took under five minutes each to make. I had to sew two seams. They're so simple. To start, you're gonna cut your fabric. Now the width of your fabric is the width of your clutch. So consider what you're gonna do with your bag and cut your fabric accordingly. I have a small clutch that would be perfect for like an iPad. You could make it even smaller and it could be for eyeglasses. And then the medium, then the large clutches, if we can ever leave our houses, those would be super cute to pair with an outfit, to go out to a restaurant or a barbecue or a beach picnic. I could go on. You are simply gonna fold your fabric in half. You wanna keep the right sides facing out. I would say that my fabric was maybe two feet long, 24 to 30 inches long, but you can trim the ends at the next step, so don't worry about measuring too much. And then, depending on how deep you want your clutch to be, you're gonna measure up from the fold and you're gonna fold each side of your folded fabric back. So if you look at mine, you can see that I've now folded my fabric three times, one in the middle and then I folded each flap backwards over that first fold. So all the fabric that is hanging over the fold is gonna be the flap of your bag. So if you want a shorter flap, trim your fabric a little bit. I liked my flap to be about the same size as the bag itself. So if I folded my fabric back at five inches, I wanted there to be an additional five inches overhanging. I hope this makes sense, but again, look at what I'm doing because it is so much simpler than it sounds. You're gonna pin the perimeter of the fabric at this point, and you wanna make sure that you leave three or four inches unstitched so that you can turn it inside out. I left about a quarter inch seam allowance, and that seemed to work pretty well for this project. Once you've sewn your perimeter and you have that three or four inches that you've left unsewn, you're gonna use that gap to turn your bag inside out, and this is where the magic happens. Without even realizing it, you have already created your clutch. To finish it off, you can either be tricky and you can use a hidden stitch to sew up those three inches that you left to turn it inside out, or if you're like me and you don't know how to do that, just go ahead and do a top stitch all around the top seam. I don't mind the look of this at all and it was super easy and I was able to finish the whole bag in under five minutes. I should mention that I did make sure to use upholstery weight fabric for these clutches. You do want a heavier weight fabric, that's right three folds and one sewn seam and you have created a perfect clutch. I was most excited that I was able to make something this cute in under five minutes. There are so many ways that you could customize this. I left it just as is. I didn't even bother to sew a snap or a button to hold it shut. You could totally do that. But you could also add fringe. You could add embellishments. You could add trim. You could use different color fabric to have a contrasting fabric on the inside. Make sure you leave me a comment if you try this project and if you add any personal flair to it. I'd love to see what you come up with. Don't forget to click that little bell icon so that you get notified when I share videos in the future. And as always, have a great day, everyone.